Hello, this is Mr. Doty again, and I've got another SolidWorks tutorial for you. Uh, some people have been having issues with um, 3-4 uh, in our SolidWorks book, and so here I am going to try to help you out with it. Maybe give you a little visual on what to do. So, same thing that we always do. Uh, if you haven't pinned this, you should pin it. I click on the little pin when this pops out. I'm going to go to new, I'm going to pick part, remember I told you last time that you know, if you pick on novice it looks like this, so it's just a matter of which one you're using, it doesn't really matter to be honest, after you use it for a while you may want to have different things set up, so you may use the more advanced version, so here I am, um, I need to make a sketch, and click on sketch and I am going to pick in this case I'm going to pick the top plane okay remember I said something about if you can use your uh, origin as a reference so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to put it on the origin right here. I'm going to draw me another circle. Well, I was trying to draw another circle. Apparently, I'm not going to draw another circle. You know, actually, let's go back and delete that. So, I've got my two circles. And I'm going to put a di distance between the two circles. two point five um, this is going to be the outside let's say and the outside has a radius of one which should be a diameter of two I'm going to draw a line from here to here, notice that it's making it tangent. It's adding the. Um, now, here's something else to remember. When you want to, so that you don't have to hit escape again and then hit line, what you can do is if you double click your left button, then it starts your line over again. It's kind of a handy thing. Okay. Now, I don't know why. It doesn't like it, but it'll be okay. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to trim, and I have mine set to trim the closest because I like that one. Overdefined. Hmm. Okay. Not exactly sure why it's overdefined, but hopefully it'll fix itself as we go along. You may not get that. We'll see. If you did, oh, hey, we're we're awesome. Okay, offset. Offset's a great tool, and um, the distance that I need it says that it's a half inch, so I'm gonna put in point five, and then. Um, I wanted to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to click on reverse. There we go. So click on reverse. It goes the opposite direction. And I hit the little check mark. And now it's really not liking it because it's red. We'll figure out what's wrong here in a minute. Okay, so I need to have a slot right here. So I need to draw me a line. I need to draw a line. Come on. Okay. Finish that out. I'm going to go to trim. And I'm going to...
Okay. Oops. Now let's do that. Space bar. Here we go. Control is our friend. We'll hold it down. We'll move it around. Zoom up. Okay. So the things that it doesn't like. Um, I'm going to escape. It doesn't like that. So I'm just going to delete that. It doesn't like that. I'm going to delete that, maybe. Um, horizontal and tangent. We'll delete that one off. Hey, we're getting some blue back. Uh, it doesn't seem to like this tangent. I don't know why. Probably because it's horizontal, maybe. I don't know doesn't say horizontal but anyway uh, let's see what else over defined it doesn't like that and see sometimes whenever you just delete one little constraint or relation and it fixes it so there you go and all I was doing was I just picked on the relation here and then I hit my delete button so now you know how to fix things. There you go. So, all right, this is the shape that I'm looking for. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is do that. I'm going to intentionally rotate with my middle mouse button. I'm going to go to features. I'm going to go to extruded boss. It found it, so I didn't have to go up here and select it. So, uh, my distance that I need is. 0.5. Now some of these dimensions I know are hard to to see on the drawings, but just look really close and if you're not sure, send me an email and uh, I'll help you figure it out. Alright, so this is what we need. Now this is where people get confused and don't really know what to do. And that's okay. Um, think about where you would draw this shape. I need to draw a half circle with a couple of short vertical pieces right here. Now some people would say, hey, well I could just extrude off of this and go up to the middle of the hole that's in this part and then I could make me a circle. Well, why don't we just do this? Let's go to sketch and let's pick either this surface or the one on the back. You know, the one back over there. I'm just going to pick this guy and normal to and I'm gonna draw some geometry you're saying what well let's look at this so 0.625 radius if you do the math and you make that a diameter that's 1.25 which guess what that's the same distance that we have in between here and here so that helps me out and then uh, I need to draw a circle so I'm just going to go over here and draw a circle and this time what I'm going to do well here let's just do this uh, I need to do some dimensioning so smart dimension uh, from here up to the top of my circle needs to be well it would be one inch from the bottom or a half inch off of here so 0.5 um, this needs to be 1.25 front row oh you know what I have to go back and fix something now. I didn't check that distance, did I? No, I did not. Okay, well, no problem. We can fix it. You're like, great, now he's messed me up. No, I haven't. Let's use this as a teaching moment, right? Okay. So, I know that I need to locate this off the center of everything. Well, I can go off of that and go back to here. Oh, come on. There we go. 
Alright, um, I wanted this, and I want that, there we go, oh, alright, we're doing great this morning, or whenever it is that you watch it, it's morning for me, okay, so how far is that over to there, well let's think about this, if it's 2.5 from center to center, then it would be 1.25, so it should be 1.25, yes, that is correct. All right, and so in doing that, I'm going to back my truck up here because these two are attached, and I don't want them to be attached. So what I want to do is I'm going to start all over here, and I've got my circle drawn. I am going to draw it there. I'm going to draw a line over here, Ooh. and I'm going to draw a line up to there. And you're saying, why did you do that? Well, it's probably what I should have done to start with, is locate my circle first, draw my lines down, draw three lines. I'm going to trim. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. Now I have the shape I want. Go back to uh, putting in a hole. Now you could use the hole command, uh, the hole wizard. Uh, mine's not functioning currently, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've got the shape that I want, and I have it located. See, I've got it located off of the center of that, which is actually also the origin. Like I said, if you locate things off the origin, it makes life a lot easier. Um, if it's a symmetrical object like this one, a good way to do it would be to locate the center of the part off of the origin. But as long as you locate something off of it, it's going to make life a lot easier. Okay, so there's that. And that is correct, and I'll show you how to go back and fix this. So first of all, I need to do an extruded boss. I went the wrong way. That's real easy to fix. Go the other direction. It's already the half inch, which is correct. And there you go. There's your part. So like I said, I didn't do the I didn't check my distances here. So what happens when you mess up? Which is real easy to do. Uh, and it's okay. It's a learning thing. I can go back, or what if that distance changed later on? I drew it correctly the first time. And, oh no, the design changed. We need to fix something. We need to change the size of this hole. We need to change this distance. We need to, you know, change the radius of something or whatever. If it's in the sketch, then I go back and I hit the little down thing. It opens up my boss and my sketch. And if you left click on the sketch, click on it, and then pick left click on edit sketch, now... I can look at my sketch and I can figure out what I did wrong. What did I do wrong? Well, this and this need to be 1.25 apart. The problem is, is I need it to be a certain distance from here also, right? So I need to do a little math. Well, it's 0.625 because you're saying, why? Well, 250, half of 250 is 125. Half of 125 is 0.625, which it rounds off. And so that makes that correct. Um, I don't know why that... That's really strange. I don't know why it says it's underdefined. Now something else you can do, just to, to tell you something more. Um, you can do repair sketch if you need to. Um, you can fully define your sketch. Sometimes that's helpful. Um, it says it's underdefined. Calculate. 
then this is what happens. Complete, but the sketch is still underdefined. Fully defined sketch due on the following. So anyway, it tells you what it is that you, you might need to do. Um, and actually what happens is it didn't really affect the outcome. Sometimes SolidWorks doesn't like it if you're underdefined. Sometimes it doesn't matter. This is a simple drawing, so it's no big deal. Okay, so that is how you make the little octopus looking thing. And um, I'll see you again sometime on the YouTube. Have fun.